Want to join the queue? Throw it back to my Zoro box days in early 2022, getting farmed by Leon Zard. Dude, don't get me started on Leon Zard. I played against Leon Zard once, um, and I was doing really well. I was like, oh, I'm, it's like really early on in me actually playing. And I was like, oh, I'm down to two prize cards. I maybe take this. And then they started sweeping all my VMAXs. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I didn't get his V-Stars, but no. I was like, oh, God, they might take me. Fortunately, they didn't. That would have sucked. But, my God. It was, uh, it was terrifying. Like, seeing a deck just suddenly turn around like that. Playing bad is better than not playing. True! And that Zoro box definitely got to a position where it couldn't play. Okay, this is not a great start. We'll see what comes off the capturing aroma. In my, uh, oh god, I'm fucked. In my other, um, Codalus deck, or Codalus Lugia deck, I swapped out the capturing aromas for Great Balls, and I genuinely think it's a better, better, uh, cut plan to have. So are we dealing with Chen Pao or are we dealing with Palkia? Because Palkia has started running um, a 1-1 one -one line of Alolan Vulpix. Which will actually be quite good into this deck. The plus we have with this deck is we do run Path to the Peak. The minus we have with this deck is Snorlax is an effect by Path to the Peak. So Radiant... Uh, not Radiant. Alolan Vulpix kind of sticks around and says, Um, I'll be taking your ass out. Thank you very much. Your ass is grass. So, we've got Greninja, Palkia, and Shempao. That does not answer our question at all. Manaphy's already been chucked. Is this a Shempao with Palkia deck, or is this a Palkia with Shempao deck? We're about to find out. Here's another catchphrase. I think we definitely want a second Lugia down, though. Because otherwise, we are going to be struggling. Hey, bud. You okay? Evolution is fine, because we can read the wind. What do you reckon, Beans? We're we gonna read the wind, and then this could be used to find Luminion. There's Luminion. Slacking may be important in this matchup. The problem with Luminion is it does become a liability very quickly. But I'm gonna give you um, an it is what it is on that one. I guess Palky with Champa would back the. Probably wouldn't repel that. Yeah, you're not wrong, actually. Uh, so read the window gets Archeops out. Draw three. Playing Luminion down could give us boss, but we're going to have to burn some energy if we do that. We could burn it, but, like, that's annoying to have to do. We do run Choice Belt on this, don't we? We run two Choice Belts, and they're both prized. Incredible. Incredible scenes. So, let's put the liability down, knowing we've got collapsed stadiums available. We'll go for a research. As much as I'd like to go for a burnout, I think research might be a better shout. That being a basic sort. Would really have rather an evolution. But we could do another Lugia down just in case. get rid of a boss. We'll get rid of... We need to keep the Collapse Stadium to get rid of the Luminion. Grab another Archeops. Read the wind and hope we hit what we need. Nope. <laughs> oh no! Have we noticed that every time I've gambled with any of these decks, it's gone badly? You won't believe what happens next. The weird part is, they put an energy on Shen Pao rather than Palkia. So if Palkia's the main attacker, why would you do that? I suppose if you're expecting to have enough energy in the discard, you do hit for knockout. With a... One of them. In fact, you still do with Palkia V-Star here. This is why we played down two Lugias, just in case. The problem is we don't have a way to get to Lugia V-Star. This, ironically, may end up helping us. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. It's 
they're doing Palkia V-Star with Chen Pao with Pidgeot EX. And there's Frigibax. What is this list? This is such a weird list. I don't really know what to make of it. The plus side, Lugia will take a knockout here. <laughs> Against Chen Pao, so we, we return the favor immediately. And we need to see a choice belt so Slacking can one-shot this uh, Palkia. That's going to be a big issue for us. If we can do that, we can trade off relatively easily here. The Pidgeot might end up being like completely irrelevant. Unlikely, but we can sure as hell hope. So, we've got the Lugia. We'll go for a summon and start. Bingo, bango. Throw a Jet Energy on there, we don't need to do anything else. Hydrate, I will do. Um, then we will... Get the energy out of the deck that we need first. Take a gift energy and we'll take a V guard. No, we can't power up the uh, snores yet, but that's fine. Need one more energy of any variety. Not double turbo. <laughs> oh, you said any variety? And we've burned a lot of jet energy already. There's two jet energy there. There's one in the prizes. Okay. And then we Iono. We have to take a knockout. After the peak here is massive. But we'll take the Collapse Stadium first. Get rid of the liability. Then we path to the peak next turn. Keep Collapse Stadium in play until we're ready. Because we don't want to give them any more leeway than we have to. Choice belt here would be huge. I don't know if you guys saw that. That wasn't choice belt, so that was completely useless to us. We are going to have to do two hit into the Palkia, which sucks. But then we hope they have no real answer once the Palkia goes down. I have a horrible feeling they will. Losing the path here sucks, but we do run two, so we might hit another. We didn't, but we hit an Iono. So we might hit one. <laughs> and we can attach manually attach a therapeutic energy onto the Snorlax. Uh, Archaeops double turbo. Then one Iono double turbo therapeutic energy onto the other Snorlax. Both Snorlax are then ready to take knockouts. We might not be in the worst position here. Iono has literally been a game changer for me. Love her so much. Dude, Iono is super good. Then placing that another champ out was really big actually because if they ended up if we ended up finding a way to get a boss, we'd have absolutely eaten them alive. So, Therapeutic Energy. And Iono. I wanted a Primal Turbo first, but because we had Double Turbo and Therapeutic in hand, that wouldn't have benefited us. In Double Turbo again is kind of annoying. Heavy Impact is there. Yeah, we are going to have to two-hit, but we do the problem is with two-hit and we're slacking is we do need to um, have Path in play. Because of Kinda Lazy. So, Therapeutic, Double Turbo. We actually don't have enough energy to power up the slacking either, so we won't bother doing that. We're going to go full Snorlax route. Well, we, we can power it up, but, like, we'd have to use a Double Turbo, and I don't want to. It's kind of annoying. I think we leave Collapse Stadium in play, just to reduce their options. A boss's orders for the champ out here would be... They probably have the capability to one-shot us from here, which is annoying. But we can one-shot their Palkia. And then annoy them with uh, Snorlax. Just gonna hope they don't hit any cross switches or anything like that. We've, we've played the best we can. Like, I'm pretty proud of this so far. So, Subspace Well is gonna do... Let's say they fill the bench, 160... 200, 240, minus the V-Guard, 210. Yeah, they have to two-hit into the Lugia no matter what. Even if they put a choice belt on. They're going to be uh, 10 shy because we haven't got a full bench. We're getting Rare Candy and another champ out for the Frigibax. If I see a boss's orders, 
I'm going for that back Scalibur. And if I do, the slacking actually be go actually goes active, which is kind of cool. They think they've got knockout. Oh, I suppose if they've got three energy in hand. Yeah, they do have knockout. That's uh, that's annoying. So now we could really do with uh, some disruption from Iono. Spirit energy retrievals. They burn. one. That does at least activate gift energy, which is nice. If we hit um, path to the peak here, we're going to be in such a good place. Nice. I would research this hand. I would play slacking down and research this hand. In fact, we need a jet energy for that to work. I'm trying to think, do we have what we need for slacking to actually like, just jump up? I don't think we do. And of course, we can't get Weird Ear. Weird Ear exists. We do have Weird Ear. We've got a Gift Energy. We've got a Gift Energy, Jet Energy, and Path to the Peak available. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen. There's still two energy around. The problem is we need the Jet Energy for either slacking or um, Weird is just jump up and take the knockout. We can't attach to Slowking then. Uh, it's not like then slacking. That just doesn't work. I think we. Ath. The thumping snore. If they've got rare candy Pidgeot in hand, I'm going to be so annoyed. This will probably be for Vacuum. The fact they went down to zero in the hand to this is so frustrating. There's never been a better time to top deck a Jet Energy. The problem is... <laughs> Even with top deck in the jet energy, we have double turbo start here, and that's useless to us. I think we have one more Iono about, but we need to see it. I didn't even—that's something else I should have checked for, and I didn't. That was dumb. But I do feel like this deck does does kind of just lose the champ power anyway. I would them. I'd go <coughs> three on the champ power for the knockout, one on the Palkia. And that Palkia probably takes the knockout next turn. I don't think there's a way for us to avoid that. Actually, the way to avoid that is kind of hilarious. We boss the Palkia. Because the Champa is about to burn all its energy. We do have, like, two more bosses orders in the deck. That's actually really smart. So, go with Snorlax. Good. We need to see boss's orders and we're not seeing it. So, let's Hail Mary. We didn't even get the jet energy. That's really annoying. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do from this situation. Basically, I'll take the knockout and hope they don't have a way to power up that Palkia, but I bet you 17 English pounds they absolutely have a water energy in hand. And there's Choice Belt, way too late. Six, seven. Yeah, they've got at least three more energy kicking about. There's got to be one in hand. That's why they did what they did.
they didn't have an NG in hand. Why would you? After such a close, fun game like that, why would you just concede and not let me take the last prize card? That's so irritating. I think I played that really well. I'm quite proud of myself. Why is my battery dying? I, this is on charge. 